What is up, Bull Nation, and welcome to another Elden Ring video, guys. As you guys know, we've been keeping up with these submarine smithing stones and trying to make sure you guys level up your weapons as quickly as you possibly can. You know, you guys, we, I had you covered with guide 1 to 2, 3 to 4, and 5 to 6. Today, I bring you 7 and 8. So if you haven't watched those videos, I'll be they'll be popping on the screen and also down below in the annotations so you guys can check them out depending on where you need to level up your weapon. I know this might look a little bit weird to you guys. It might not look very similar to what you have. This is after you finish the game because in order to get these, you actually have to be in the end game. Now, let me show you guys where, where I'm at. So for those of you who might not know, I am in the table of the Lost Grace. During about 25% of the game in, you'll be able to have access to this area. So you guys should be good to go. Now, before I show you guys the location and where to get it, if you guys are enjoying our content, do me a huge favor, guys. Drop a like because it does help us out with the algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on all those notifications. So... Once you guys get these stones that I'm about to show you where they're at, you're going to come here and you're going to go ahead and offer a bell bearing. But currently right now we don't have the bell bearing, but I already have, I already did it. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what you guys are going to need to do. And let me show you that I actually have them already activated. So I'm able to purchase eight and seven. So where exactly is it that you need to go? Well, like I said, this is mostly end game. So quick spoiler, if you guys don't want to get spoiled. Uh, just, uh, you know, just cover your eyes, cover your ears, and then you'll hear what I'm about to say. So, for those of you who don't know, towards the end of the game, you're going to get access to the Forge of the Giants. Now, this is the end game part where you have to decide and talk to Milana, and she's going to tell you, do a cutscene, and she's going to travel you all the way down here, okay? She's going to bring you all the way down here to this location right here, which is the Crumbling Beast Grape. Now, I'm going to play the video of showing you guys how to go from here all the way over here because it's a bit confusing. But what I did is I edited every single boss fight that you have in Encounter here so you guys can enjoy it and it could be spoiler free uh, to the best of my abilities. But you guys are going to have to go all the way through here in order to get this uh, stones or the bell to activate these stones. So let me go ahead and play the video for you guys and show you guys how I was able to do it. Like I said, it's fast forwarded. But I did skip and cut out all the boss fights, so you guys won't get spoiled.
right, so now that you guys got the stone, now you guys had to finish the entire level to actually come and uh, turn in the bell because you won't be able to turn in the bell unless you complete the actual area. It won't let you fast travel. So complete the area, then fast travel to the uh, table of the lost, come in here, talk to the sisters, and turn in the bell. And once the bell is turned in, you'll have access to 7 and 8. I hope you guys are enjoying our guides here on the channel. If you are, do me a huge favor, guys. Drop that like, like your mama taught you right. And don't forget to subscribe, turn on all those notifications, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.